All right, guys, for today's video, we're going to switch it up. Um, uh, last time we did the doctor and why I think he's great for people that really aren't very good or comfortable with killers, have a hard time getting kills. Today, we're jumping into another new one that I've actually never even run into anybody playing as this character, but it's the Blight. And you'll notice that it says very hard. But if we drill into the information about him, he's very interesting. So, power, blighted corruption, special ability rush. When they say rush, they really mean rush. This, this guy's like an Olympic sprinter across the map. Now, the reason I think they categorize this as very hard is because much like uh, the nurse, after you blink, you get stunned and you're exhausted for a moment before you can continue. The same happens with the blight. But he starts out with five charges, and if you, as it says here, as you're running, if you run into obstacles, it allows you to slam, and then you can continue the charge. And then it can get to the power-up point, while if you're able to keep hitting objects, you can actually attack in the middle of your rush. If you're only doing it a one-cycle rush, you cannot attack. But it's hugely useful for covering large distances very, very quickly on a map. So we're just going to jump in and show you what this is about. I'm going to show you my loadout here. I'm using uh, his Blight perk. After damaging a gen, the next 30 seconds, the first survivor that interacts with it will scream. So we'll get, for four seconds, uh, be able to see them. So we get kind of like the doctor a little bit of a wall hack perk we'll see those auras and it gives them exposed for 60 seconds uh blood favor as we're chasing people um within 28 meters of the chase for 15 seconds they are not going to be able to pull a pallet down on us that's usually powerful and then i have this old i believe pig perk sloppy butcher uh basic attack uh, causes uh, hemorrhage and mangled. So we've got quite a few things that allow us to get some um, kind of status, negative status effects on the survivors as we're making our way through this uh, game as well. So we're going to go ahead and get this loaded up. I've only played a few matches with him, but I did team wipe the very first match I played with him while I was still trying to figure him out. It's uh, bonkers how fast he is, and that's kind of really what I want to showcase. Um, against a skilled team, I could see uh, easily that, you know, no big deal, but all skilled teams are survivors, it doesn't matter who you pick, are going to be able to do pretty well. Some play better against other killers than others, but uh, Blight is really fun. If nothing else, he's very, very fun. It, it's comical how fast he can move across this map. You catch somebody unaware, and they start running in a straight line, you can just beeline right for them. Close that gap like nobody else can. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. So hopefully we'll get some, some good plays here, and I'll show you what Blight's all about. Okay, the Wreckers Yard. As we know, this is one of the bigger maps, so I'm thinking having Blight might be a really nice boon for me. As uh, this is a lot of ground to cover, we're not going to toggle his ability just yet. We're going to make a natural progressive sweep, and I've already spotted one, and look at that. Look at that. We are already on him, closing the gap. He ran around here. He's going to be looking for this pallet drop. He's thinking about it. He's going to try to loot me. That's a waste of a pallet, my friend. Unfortunate for you. That's one hit. just puts fear into survivors. Yep. Where you going, bud? You looking for a pallet? None to be found, friend. And we've got Dwight down once. So we'll go ahead and pick him up. And we got us a hook right over here, right by a gen. I like hooking people near a generator if I can. Because people might get cheeky and decide, oh, let's get him off the hook. Let's hit this generator. So that's one. And you can see just how stupid fast he is. He's so mobile. It really, really, really makes the job of moving about 
between these generators hunting down survivors. Much less of a chore. Somebody just finished one over here. Yep, so she just ran back, hit that generator, let me know she's back here thinking about it. So let's just get over here, see if we can find her hiding in the bush. You back behind this rock? That's where I'd be. Well, it's unfortunate. That's two. Uh, where's the closest hook? Right here. Brilliant. So yeah, this loadout is pretty nice. It's not high-end powerful, but it's it's got items on it that I really appreciate. Yes, I saw you. And there's scratch marks behind this rock. Uh. Alright, there's one. I hear him back this way, so we don't even need to see him. Gonna come back. Nope, nobody's over on that one. So we're going to check this one. No activity. Let's just drop this pallet. And we are going to give chase. He's injured. We may as well. Okay, we got our second down. I think this might be the second time we've gotten this guy specifically yeah. down. And they're getting mm. very, very close on this generator over here. Uh, we don't need to give it a kick yet, but yeah. we will. See if we can get this guy hooked first. Mm. Now let's see if we can give it a kick. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see if anybody over here is feeling altruistic. No activity on that, so that's how it works. You bump, and then you can run again. You bump, you can run again, and you'll see how quickly it recharges. I'm already back to max stacks again. Okay, they're working as a team to bang these generators out. And I see him legging it through the bush. So we're just going to get right up on him. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh, a swing and a miss. That's unfortunate. You're going to drop a pallet, waste your time, come back over. Yep, took the bait. Gotcha. You want to teabag me? That's a mistake. Could have gone into the basement, which is totally fine. Oh, she ran over there. That's why it's giving me these triggers. Your pallet's blocked. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate for you. Oh, wow. Okay. Now you're going down. You are going to rue the day. Yep. And sure, they've got some progress on some gins, but it's okay. We're getting hits. We're getting people hooked. That's what it's about. Then we can start putting some pressure. So I'm going to quickly, after I hang her. Okay, they're already down to two. Let's get over here.
our injured buddy running in circles from me yet again. making quick work on these generators that's unfortunate so yeah this is going to be tough to get them all uh but we'll at least try to see if we can focus down these same survivors that we've injured but we're definitely going to have to make up some ground yep i see one back here in the corner they think they're hiding from me they are not Saw them turn right. Yep, they ran through the shack. That was a mistake. She turned back through here. Not today. And we got a hook right over here. Alright. Our biggest problem is this map is just so big. We've got to close some ground. Let's see how this generator over here is looking. Somebody is absolutely trying to work on it. gonna have to give it a swift tap and we know they're hiding back here behind this all right got another one down we'll just find the closest hook oh convenient right on her tail going to try to turn in and get over a window. Nope. Went for the pellet instead, so if I recall correctly, there may be a basement in here. And if there is, yep, she's going to go down, which is great. I still actually haven't even unlocked the achievement for hooking in the basement, so we'll just put her right there. Beautiful. Let her hang out for a minute. And they got the door open, so we'll see how altruistic their teammates may or may not be feeling. Uh-oh, I see scratch marks. Leads me to believe somebody might have just made a grave mistake. That's unfortunate. And she's got the flashlight, so she's definitely the one that I want to get. So yeah. Oh look, we have a hook right here. That's very convenient. And it's facing the door. She's just going to leg it out and save herself. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But yeah, so that's the blight. Very, very fast. Nearly, nearly got the team wipe. It came so close. That's literally the third match I've played with Blight uh, to date, and that's on a very big, tough map for a killer. Um, that's what I'm talking about. And sure, I didn't team wipe, but three quarters of the team uh, with somebody that all but has no abilities uh, equipped, I mean, that's just huge. I do highly recommend the Blight. I know it says very hard, but, you know, if you've got a few bucks, grab them. See what you think. Well... Try another match here, see if we can get off of that junkyard, the wreck yard map, and uh, see if we can get onto something maybe a little bit more contained. He's got naturally 4.6 meter per second speed. That in tandem with his speed rush 
very, very huge. Very fun to play. Very, very fun killer. It feels, uh, I'm sure, from the survivor perspective, like there's just constant pressure on him. So we'll, we'll try our luck on another match. Ah, always a tough map in these cornfields. But luckily, I kind of blend in with them, so maybe this will potentially play to our favor. Yep, that's unfortunate. Let's locate us a hook. Got one right over here. Perfect, right by the generator. That's what I like to see. Up you go. Give that a little kick. Pop, pop. Oh, it's unfortunate, I know. I'm just going to leave you down. It's okay. Oh, bang. 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 That's a mistake. Let's get him. Let's get him hooked. They didn't crawl super far, so... Totally fine. That's her second hook. She's going to be done. Not sure if she's giving up or what the deal is here. That's okay. She's not a huge squirmer. Got us another hook right here. So we'll just go ahead and get her hooked. I don't remember if I already got her on the hook once or not. Looking for scratch marks. We're just looking for scratch marks. Somebody is cheating, okay? That's what's happening. That's at least what it looks like is happening. Yeah, super, super laggy. Super laggy. So I don't know if somebody's lag switching or whatnot. But either way, they're going up on the hook. Where did she crawl? Yep, she's going to go up on the hook. She's done. This will be her third. Unfortunate for her, but, you know. It is what it is. She'll probably squirm away because of the distance between these hooks, but maybe I get lucky. Maybe I can actually get her on it. Yep, and that should do it for her. Ah, that's that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate for you. Very, very unfortunate. So I'm not even using his ability right now. I'm just uh, making rounds and knocking him down. And you pulled her from the hook, so I'm just going to come right back up and utilize this hook yet again. Not sure what you were trying to do there, but we're going to grab you, get you out of here. The next closest hook. It's like she is lag switching to the point that I can't touch her. So I am not exactly sure what the deal is here, but nonetheless, one of the two of them are going down. So I feel like somebody's manipulating the game, so he's going to die. And if she gets back up, she's immediately getting slashed. And we've got a disco. That's what happened. We got a disco. I know, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. <laughs> so 
so we'll go back yeah. over to this hook again, and we'll oh. see what the status is. Ugh. I'm not sure what's uh, going on with that flashlight carrier. She yeah. says she's still on the ground, so I'm I'm not sure. I don't I don't think that's true. I hear it. Hatch is closed. Perfect. All right, one gate here, one gate there. Let's see what they do. I don't actually expect them to be going for this one. Because they were never on this side of the map, but you never know. Found you. Uh oh. And that's a uh, team wipe. If we count the disconnect, I mean, I can't really blame them. Um, the blight is hard to play against. But yeah, yeah, very, very fun. I'm ashamed we couldn't get all four. But yeah, the blight, that's great. And you'll you'll notice what I did here. I was running intentionally, then reset your position. You can run again. You'll see it pops up. It says I could attack. So that's all you got to do. Just pop, pop, pop. And okay, it just comes back so fast. The blight, the blight. Crazy good, crazy good. I know it says very, very hard, but I disagree. There's just a couple fine points and yeah, have, have fun. So that's the blight, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for checking it out.